everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Thursday, February the 8th. There are 2, 3, 6 in the top 3 rows, 4, 2, and 4, so 10 in the middle 3 rows, that's 16. And 20, 24, 26. There are a total of 26 digits in this puzzle, but they're all rather concentrated. Nothing in column 4, and nothing in box 2, but hopefully the concentrated areas are going to allow me to put digits there relatively easily. And starting from the top three rows, I've got no repeat digits. The middle three rows, I do have a four and a one that I need to place somewhere in box four. One can only go in those two spots. Four can only go in those two spots. Oh, and 6 can be put in, in those two spots in row 5, based on where they are in 4 and 6. And then the bottom three rows, I've got 3, 1, and 1, 3, both in row 7 and row 8 of boxes 7 and 9. Therefore, they must go in row 9 of box 8. So this is a hidden 1, 3 pair here. Because these two ones can only go in those spots. These two threes can only go in the same two spots. So one and three can't go anywhere else but those two. And five can go in one of those two. Based on where they are in seven and nine. Six, ooh, can go in the same two spots. And this has a six looking at it, so that's six. This is five. Cool. I did not see that. Okay, I think I'm done there. If I look by columns, 3, 7, 3, 7, which means this is 3, 7, up here. 6 we already placed. I could have done those two 6s, 14 and 6, and one of these two, and this is ruled out by that 6. Okay, the middle columns, 4, 1, 2, 5, 6. I can't do anything with it. The rightmost, I should be able to do a lot of work. Okay, these two 1s and these two 6s, I'm going to force a 1, 6 pair here and here, but this has a 6 looking at it, so that's 6. At the very top right of box 3, the bottom right is 1. Okay, these two 9s are going to force a 9, one of those two. It can't go here by that 9. Uh, well, let's see. 6, 1, 1, 6. Okay. 6s are in. Oh, 5. Um, can go in one of those two. Place nine. Oh, I can't do anything with a three, but now I have to start looking at columns. Okay, I need one, one, three, four, five, six, nine. I need two, seven, and eight in those cells. This, these two, and seven, it must be eight. So two and seven are in these two. These two cells uh, look like four and something. To the four, four and eight. Okay. Okay, this is a triple. Um, one, three, five, seven, nine, along with six. Okay, this is two, four, and eight, but this is two and four, so that's an eight. These are two and four. That means that's a pair. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is going to be seven and nine. Let's see. This is not one, three, five, seven. So this could be nine. Or two, four, eight. 
that's not two or eight. That's not nine. Okay, well, those can't be seven. We determine that can't be seven, and that can't be seven. So where's the where's the only place for seven in row nine? It's here. This is seven. That's a two. Okay, let's look at column eight now. I have one, four, five, six, nine. I need two, three, seven, and eight. Obviously, these can't be eight. That's these three in its row. This is two in its row. Okay, so we've determined eight must go here. Let's see, one, three, five, six, seven. Okay, this is going to be from two, four, eight, and nine. Also, but not two. Okay, I've got three, five, six, and seven placed in column three. I can do one, nine, and then two, four, eight. Clean up some digits. Two in this row, and O, oh, and eight. Okay, so those can't be one. This can't be one by given. That can't be one by given. That's a three seven pair. Where did one go in column three? It goes there in the right center box of box four. Okay, uh, that's not really going to help me much there, is it? I still have placed absolutely nothing in box two or column four. But I have to look by rows now. One, two, six, seven, eight. I need three, four, five, and nine to finish out row six. This can't be three. That's not four, and neither is that. Okay, that was not terribly helpful. Let's see, this column 7 cannot be 1, 4, 6, or 8, so the only even digit left is 2. It can't be 1, so 3, 5, 7, 9 is based on column inspection. Oh, 5 and 9 by box and row, okay. Yep, 9's in one of these two, 8's in one of these two. Five's in one of those two. Let's see, one, three, six, seven, nine. Okay, I need two, four, five, eight. Well, I need two, four, five, eight to fill out, but this one, sees two, four, and eight, that is a five. Okay, that finally tells me five is in one of those two. This is 2, 4, or 8. Well, actually, this can't be 4, so this is 2 or 8. 8. This can't be 2 or 8, so that's actually a 4. And that's not 4, and this is now a 2, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. This is going to be from 4, 5, or 9, but not 4. Well, interesting. So that's a triple, and this is a triple in column one. That means that should be a hidden digit. That's a one. Okay. This one and this one mean one is one of these two. Okay, two eight means those can't be two. One two four six eight nine. Okay. This is going to be from 3, 5, and 7. Also, and now we have a triple in these cells. Let's see. Okay, 
None of these are one, two, and three. None of these are four. That's interesting. Okay, I've now got two in one of these two. Let's see, I've got eight in one of those two. Okay. I only think this can be my row inspection as a 2, because 4, 6, and 8 are seen. It sees 1 and 5 from the odd digits, so 3, 7, and 9 are left. This isn't 2. Hmm. Okay, these cells... They all see 2, 4, and 5 by row logic. That's not 8, that's not 1, or 6 by column logic. I got way too many options here. And here, and probably there. Uh, these cells. Okay, none of these are 1, 6, or 9. This now gets rid of 2, 4, 5, and 8. <coughs> okay, so 3, 7 is here. 3, 7 pair is now on that row, which means the remaining cells. Now, this isn't 3 or 7, that's a 2. Because these are not 2. These cannot be 2, and none can be 3, and none can be 7. Alright, this 2 means that's not 2, and this one is. Now I have yet another triple down there. Column 6, we've got one. Okay, this couldn't have been 2, and this can't be 3 or 7 by pair placement. That's an 8. So this is not 8. Column 8 is now reduced to a 3, 7. This is a 3, 7, 9 triple. In box 3, these are not 8, so I can get rid of 5s. That turns into a 4, 5 pair, which also crosses a box. Okay, two is definitely one of these two. Eight is one of these two. Let me put this in right. Six is one of those. Well, this is interesting. I think I just found something. That's a three, seven, nine triple, so this is one, six, eight. Because nothing else in the box is. And this sees 1 and 6, so that's an 8. So this is not 8, that cell is. Which means by my markings, this is 6, that's forced to be. Now this is 1, that's 6. That triple is now resolved. Okay, I've got, this is a triple.
let's see, what else can I do? Oh, this one comes down here. Whoops. 3, 1 is resolved. In that row, in row 9, 3 comes up here. This is 7, which means that's 3, that's 7. 7 means this can't be 3 or 7, that's a 9. This 7 means that's a 3. These are now 7, 9, but this has 9 looking at it, so that's a 7. That's 9. Okay, neither of these are 7, 9. That's... Okay, this is now a 2, 3 pair. 7 means 5. Uh, this now can't be 7 or 5. That's 3. That's 7. That's 5. This 5 means that's 9. This isn't 9. That's 4. That's 5. This 9 means that's a 4. These aren't. That's a triple that I'm not going to mark. 5 in column 4 comes up. 4, 5 in row 1 is resolved. 2, 4, 3, 2. I should be unwinding relatively fast at this point. 7, 8, 4, 8, 2, 9, this 2 in column 2 comes up, 8, 2, and there we go, 16 minutes, easy peasy. Now, the key was finding the 168 hidden triple in row 2. Once I discovered that, the rest of the puzzle fell apart rather beautifully because one of the cells had one six already seeing into it, so that was a hidden eight. And once I found that hidden eight, then these two fell apart, and very easy from that point. But thank you for joining me this morning.